Today I'm going to show you how to add a custom 3D model to a footprint on Eagle. Here's my library, so let's go ahead and open this. Once Eagle opens, you see your device, footprint, symbol, and your 3D package should just, uh, column should just be empty. In order to add a 3D package to any footprint, you need to make your library a managed library. A managed library is just a library that is stored in the cloud. So let's go to library. Create Managed Library. Now in this window, make sure that you have this box checked. Having this box checked will move your library to this location. Eagle slash archive slash libraries. So now you will have two copies of your library, one under this location and another one in the cloud. The cloud version is your managed library. So when you make changes, if you want your changes to be uploaded to the cloud, make sure you uh, make changes to your managed library and not to the library on this location. If you make changes to the library under this location, they won't be reflected in the cloud. The library under this location is just a backup copy. So now let's go ahead and click on create. You should see this box. Go ahead and click OK. Now if we look at our folder, we should see that the library is gone and it was now placed under eagle slash archive slash libraries. So again, this is not the library you want to modify. If you open up the control panel on eagle, you should see that under your username folder, you now have a new library. This is the managed library and this is the one that is synced up to the cloud. So whenever you want to make an edit to the library, this is the one you want to make an edit to. Now let's go back. You can see that now you have a package, a 3D package for your footprint, device, and symbol. Another thing to mention is that if you go into library.io, you should now see under libraries, your new library, your package, and your 3D models. Right now you don't have a 3D model. So this is what we want to create or add. So now to add our custom 3D package, let's go ahead and double click on this. Let's click on upload. Let's go ahead and find our 3D package. Uh, look for the STP file, click open. And now you should see your 3D package. If you're satisfied with this, go ahead and click on OK. Add a version description. OK. And now you should see your 3D package. This symbol right here just means that it's loading, but your 3D package should be there. There you go, you can see it now. That is the three packages associated with this footprint or device. Now what you want to do is go ahead and save it. When you try to save it, you should see this message. So if we go back to library.io and we click on this, you can see that we still don't see the changes, uh, the, th the new 3D package we uploaded. So in order to see this, you have to do what this message tells you. So let's go ahead and go to library, create new version, create. Now if we go back here and we refresh this. You should see your new 3D model. So again, one thing to note is that in order to add a 3D package to any footprint, you need to make your library a library, a managed library. Now, what if you don't have a custom 3D package already made? Well, you can go ahead and make one uh, several ways. One of those ways is using the library.io page. So this right here. So let's go ahead and start with a new library. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. This is a, a different library. So this library is just just has the device, the footprint, and the symbol for a crystal. 
So again, to add a 3D package, let's make the library, manage library, create. You should see the new library being copied into archive libraries. Click on OK. And on the web, if we refresh this, you should see that the new library was added. Oh, and I forgot to mention, back on 3D models, uh, on the previous example, after you added your, your uh, new 3D package or model, you should be able to see it here. So you can just reuse this piece whenever you want to. Now back to our crystal. So we already made this a managed library. Now you should see the, the default object they give you here. So let's go ahead and double click on that. So now let's go ahead and create our own uh, 3D package for this footprint. So let's click on generate. Here you have uh, several options of whatever you want to create. I want to create the crystal, so I'm going to select this. Now I'm going to go ahead and look at the data sheet to get the dimensions for this crystal. So for E, the data sheet tells me that that is 4.88 millimeters. For B, the data sheet tells me that that is 0 0.45 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 0 0.45. For D, data sheet says that is 11.05 millimeters max. So 5, 11.05. For E, capital E, data sheet tells me that that is point, uh, 4.7 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to 4.7. And finally, A, that is, he tells me that is 4.1 millimeters max. So 4.1, enter. Now let's click on update preview. And here's your, uh, new 3d object if you're happy with that you can go ahead and click on finish here you can either check this box or leave it unchecked i'm gonna go ahead and check it and click ok so now this should have the new 3d package you just created and if you go back into library.io, 3D models, refresh, you should be able to see the new 3D package you made. So now you can use this whenever you want to. Now back to Eagle. You can see that this is bold and has a little asterisk sign here on the top right corner. This means that you need to create a new version of your library if you want to upload to the cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Go to library. Create new version, create. Now if I go back into library.io, libraries, and I look at my library, you should be able to see that my new managed library has a new 3D package associated with it. The other thing you could do is search on the web for a uh, 3D package so that you don't have to create your own. And the way you do that is by opening up the 3D package, going to add. Um, here under my models, you can see all of your models that you uploaded previously. You can also look for public models. And in here, you can search for whatever model you're looking for. If I search for crystal, You can see all the different types of crystals that uh, other people have made and you can choose one of those instead of making your own. And that is how you associate a 3D object to a footprint. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.